I'm Mara Esquivel-Campo, and here are the top five stories buzzing online right now. Coming in at number five, a message from the Capitol. We've just got our first look at Mockingjay Part 2, and it does not disappoint. Fans get a sneak peek at Finnick and Annie's wedding, but things quickly heat up with Katniss vowing to make President Snow pay for what he's done. Tonight, turn your weapons to the Capitol. Let's just hope the odds are in her favor. The final Hunger Games begins in November. Can't wait for that. Coming in at number four, if there's one thing we know about Kim and Kanye, it's that they're not afraid of making grand romantic gestures. You can say that again. Case in point, Kim's birthday present for her hubby. Here he is, blindfolded, heading to the big event. And no, it wasn't just a bunch of friends with party streamers. Of course not. Kim rented out the entire Staples Center in LA for Kanye to play ball with his buddies. Team West versus Team East. Among the big names on the court, pop star Justin Bieber and John Legend singing happy birthday. Even the Laker girls were there to cheer Kanye on. Clearly the surprise was a slam dunk success. Happy birthday, Yeezy. I wonder if it made him smile. Coming in at number three, magical news for all of us American Harry Potter fans. It turns out that your commute to wizarding school may not need to be transatlantic after all. Harry Potter author J.K. Rowling dropping some big hints that a wizarding school like Hogwarts exists in America. The author revealing on Twitter that Newt Scamander, the main character in her new spin-off Fantastic Beasts and Where to Find Them, will meet students from the stateside wizarding school. Rowling wouldn't reveal the name of the new Hogwarts, but confirmed that it is influenced by Native American culture. We'll find out all the details when the movie hits theaters next year. Coming in at number two, the ultimate collector's item for fans of David Hasselhoff in the 80s series Knight Rider, Kit. The artificially intelligent talking car is heading to the auction block. The T-top Trans Am is estimated to fetch around $300,000. Sadly, that price does not include the voice of William Daniels offering crime-fighting advice as you hit the highway, but the new owner will receive call sheets and maps detailing when the car was featured on the show. Very cool if you can afford it. And finally, coming in at number one, you'd think a kangaroo would put the hop in hip-hop, but this musical marsupial is channeling his inner Carlos Santana and rocking the air guitar. The video was taken in Perth, Australia. Some say the Roo is just scratching himself. We say he's obviously celebrating a Tuesday, Tunes Day, and jamming out on the air guitar. Either way, <laughs> this works, I guess. <laughs> Be sure to tune in GMA for more pop news tomorrow. For ABC News, I'm Mara Campo in New York. Have a great day.